Hi, I'm Tree Lear, and today I'm here to share with you general information regarding DWR's Unified Communications phone replacement. In today's session, I'll be covering the current DWR phone and voicemail environment. I'll be discussing what is Unified Communications and why DWR has chosen to move to this platform. We'll be discussing the features and phone model options that are available. I'll be discussing the Unified Collaboration client that gives you more flexibility in your communications. We'll talk about the self-service capabilities and the new dial plan of the new system. I'll share with you the rollout schedule and where you can find that information. And then we'll do some general demonstrations on the Jabber system and the UC SharePoint site. And then we'll go over some frequently asked questions that have been provided by some of our other sessions. So our current DWR phone and voicemail environment quite simply is outdated, costly, and it does not meet the business needs of our environment. So unified communications, the definition is the integration of real-time communication services such as instant messaging, which is chat, IP telephony, call control with real-time communication services such as voicemail and email. Why did DWR choose to move to the unified communications platform? Simply, DWR employees have asked for updated phones with improved features. The new phones also provide self-service capabilities and unified collaboration. So the features of your new phone system, first and foremost, your phone is still just a phone, so you still have your basic calling. In addition now, though, you'll have caller ID provided that it's not a blocked number. You will also have a visual voicemail indicator light, so no longer will you have to pick up the phone and listen for the stutter dial. You'll have a red light that will illuminate when you have a voicemail. You now have Jabber instant messaging and group chat available. You also have an ad hoc four participant conference line, and what this means is that now from your phone, you can initiate a conference call with up to three additional participants. There is also now a dedicated Meet Me conference lines. There are three dedicated Meet Me conference lines for each division, and each of those lines hold up to 32 callers. The dedicated Meet Me lines for the division can be reserved through Outlook, and the caveat is that only the division can uh, reserve their dedicated lines. So what is Unified Collaboration? Unified Collaboration is the Jabber desktop client for Windows and Mac that integrates with your desk phone for advanced features. So it provides you the ability to make and receive phone calls from your desktop, provides the presence of free or busy status for your contacts, and integrates your Outlook calendar for automatic updates. Again, you also have the feature of instant messaging, uh, chat and group chat, and the click-to-call integration with Microsoft Outlook. One thing to note um, about Jabber and Outlook is for Mac, we don't have the click-to-call integration with Outlook for Mac. So although your Jabber client will work and has some functionality, it just doesn't have the click-to-call integration with Outlook. So the phone models that we'll be discussing, there are two phone models. The majority of employees will be receiving the 8945 standard IP phone. And then the executives, the directors, the chief deputies, and so on will receive the 9951 executive phones. The main difference between these phones is just that the executive phones have multi-line capabilities. The large uh, conference rooms that are reservable through Outlook will also be equipped with the 7937 unified conference stations. Now, when we say large conference rooms, those are usually the larger rooms that you can reserve through Outlook for your meetings. So the main question is, will each conference room be equipped with a phone line. If there is a phone in there now, it will have a phone in there. It may not be the unified conference station, but it will still be equipped with an IP phone. So the self-service capabilities of the new platform. Once you receive your phone, you will have access to a portal site that will allow you to program your personal speed dial numbers, reset your own voicemail pin, and you have the option now of recording up to six multiple greetings. We'll go back to that as we go through the presentation. So the new dial plan, this is one of the main things that you'll have to remember when you receive your new phone, is that any DWR site you call, whether it be a region or a field office, or if you're calling from one of those locations into headquarters, you no longer need to dial an area code. You will simply dial eight and the seven digit phone number. So internal calls now are for all DWR locations. The remaining uh, dialing plan remains the same as it is now. For your local calls, you'll dial nine and the seven digits. Your long distance, you'll still dial nine and one and the 10 digit phone number. And for emergency calls, you can dial either 911 or nine and 911. 
So the rollout schedule. Our telecom group has been very busy. In the last quarter of 2014, the telecommunications branch completed the rollout of the DTS and training VoIP phones. In the first quarter of 2015, the general information sessions for all employees have begun. And we're going to continue rolling out the phones through the second quarter of 2015. So for more information, or if you have any problems when you get your new phone, you're going to want to contact the service center at 653-8723. Again, once you have your new phones, that number will be 8653-8723. You can also submit a miscellaneous problem ticket through Aquasys if you have any difficulties. We also encourage you to visit the UC website on Current at current.water.ca.gov, and we'll go through that demonstration in a little bit. Okay, so now instead of the questions and answers, I'm going to show you some of the frequently answered questions that we've received in some of our past sessions and also show you how to navigate through to current. So once you're on current, again, the uh, web address is current.water.ca.gov. You're going to want to scroll over to the Community tab and then scroll down to Unified Communications. Once you're on this site, it shows you all the information. What the, um, the phone systems that are being deployed, the voicemail information, the Jabber information, and the rollout schedule. So once you're on the current website and you've scrolled to the frequently asked questions, the, the questions are um, portioned out. You have your phone section, your Jabber section, and then just some general information questions. So some of the questions we received about the phones is when you'll get your new phone. There is a rollout schedule on the site. We'll show you where that is in a moment. Will headsets be provided? No, but if you have an existing analog headset, the telecom team will install that with your new phone. Um, if you want a headset, you can also talk with telecom about the options available and how you can purchase those for your division. Um, again, how do you dial 911? Again, the 9911 or just 911 will work. So some of the Jabber questions, is VDI required to run Jabber? And no, it's not required. Jabber is going to be installed on both Windows and Mac and on virtual desktops. Um, will Jabber be installed on personal devices? No, this is a DWR business tool only. So it will only be installed on DWR laptops. And one of the main questions is, can I save my chats from the Jabber client? And the answer is no, that feature is not supported. But remember, Jabber is just a communication tool to help you. So it's really meant to be used kind of like an intercom. So I use it a lot when I have a question for my boss and he's behind closed doors working on a project. And I don't necessarily need an answer right now, but I want to kind of put a placeholder there. I'll just instant message him something and know that he can return my message when he has the opportunity. So remember, if it's something that you need for record keeping, you're going to still want to use your email for that. And then some of the um, ex uh, general information questions that we've received, um, one of the main ones is, will WebEx conference lines go away? No. So remember that you now with the new phone systems, you'll have your ad hoc uh, conference lines, which allow you to use your desk phone as a conference line and add up to three additional people. You also have the dedicated Meet Me lines. Each division receives three dedicated Meet Me lines, and each line has um, up to 32 callers. You'll still have your WebEx conference lines available, as you do now for your divisions. The dedicated conference lines that you usually reserve through the IT Service Center, those are still remaining, so you still have that option. Those will go away at some point, but the telecom team will notice everyone once that decision has been made. So right now, we're going to take you back to the Unified Communications site, just so you can see some of the other features on the website. So going back to the home page, one of the things is the presentation that you're seeing here today is also available. Um, the slides are also available on this website and the video. And the handout that we provided at the general information sessions is also available. Here on the website, you can look up information on your phones. If we could click to that. So on the phones, when I talked about the 8945, the model that you see there on the screen is what most employees will receive. You'll also receive, once the phone is deployed on your desk, you're going to get a quick reference guide. Um, but they're here as well, uh, the quick reference guide and the getting started guide. The 9951 executive phone is there along with those guides. And the unified uh, communication conference system is there as well. So then we'll go to voicemail. Once you 
um, get your phone, you're going to want to initialize your voicemail. You'll also receive a handout on this when you receive your phones, but if you don't for some reason, you can go to this website and it has the enrollment guide for the initial setup as well as a quick reference guide. For Jabber, the same information. The Jabber client will be pushed out onto your desktop, so once you receive your phone, you can start using Jabber. The quick reference guide is here as well as the user guide. If you're not sure when your new phone is going to be rolled out, you can come to the upcoming events and you'll see that the phones are being rolled out by floor, not necessarily by division. So if there's any changes, the schedule, uh, the changes will be posted on the website as well as the information will be distributed to your administrative officers. So you can also check with them. Once you've received your new phone, you'll have the ability to go into your portal site and that is the site where you can Input your speed dial numbers if you choose to use those. Record your uh, multiple greetings if you have those. And you can also, from this site, reset your voicemail. So no longer will you have to put in a problem ticket to the service center. You can go right onto your portal site and reset your voicemail password if you forget that. Uh, remember, when you log into the portal site, you're going to use the same network credentials that you use when you log into the system every morning. Um, again, this portal site will not be available to you until you receive your new phone. So from here, we'll go ahead and do a quick Jabber demonstration for you to show you the capabilities of that. So the Jabber icon kind of looks like an upside down E. When you log in, you're going to log in with your DWR network credentials, the same password you use to get onto your system. Once you're in Jabber, your Jabber will be blank. You won't have any contacts, but you can easily add your contacts. So just to go over quickly, of some of the features. You see on um, the screen that you have your contacts tab, your recent, now the recent shows you your missed or placed or dialed calls. Your voice messages will also show here. When you receive a voicemail, it's gonna show in a multitude of places. Once you're gonna see the indicator light on your phone that indicates you have a voicemail. If you have your Jabber client open, it'll indicate that you have a voicemail message there and you'll also receive a WAV file in your email that you'll be able to double click and listen to say you're out of the office and you need to get that voicemail you no longer have to call in to your voicemail that message will be received in your email and then if you're um, if you have your Jabber client open, it integrates with your Outlook and it shows you the meetings that you have scheduled for that day. And it's important to note here that nobody else can see this information. This is just a nice tool. So again, you don't have to log into multiple places to get your information. Jabber kind of combines all of that for you. All right, so your Jabber client also, one of the great features is it has the presence status. So on this, you can see that we're using Yolanda's Jabber and she's in a meeting, but she can change that status to anything she wants. So the custom statuses or the default statuses in here are available, away, and do not disturb. So you can change your default status to a customized status by merely clicking in the box and typing in the status you want. Be aware though that this is a business tool so you want to make sure that your status presence is business appropriate. Um, one of the nice features is that say you wanted to forward your calls, you can do so by Jabber down at the bottom. You can forward all your calls to say your, your uh, cell phone. The caveat here is that you can only forward your desk phone to a cell phone or another phone that is in the same area code. If for some reason you needed to forward your calls to an, an area code outside of your own, you would need to mit, submit an Aquasys service request and provide a business justification on why you need that phone forwarded out of the area code. Um, one of the nice features about Jabber is once you have that open and once you've populated it with your contacts, you simply can not only see their presence, but you can choose to chat with them by simply right clicking or clicking on the chat symbol and typing your message in the box. One thing to note, I mentioned it before, whether Jabber messages could be or chat messages could be saved. No, they cannot. Once you exit out of Jabber, those chat messages will be gone. Um, the other nice thing about this is say you wanted to call, all you have to do is click on the phone icon. It'll initiate the phone call. You'll hear it ringing through your computer speakers and then you simply pick up the phone or put on your headset to place the call.
So one of the nice features about the new platform, again, is there's something called click-to-call integration. From your Outlook, if you wanted to call somebody from your contacts, you simply open up your Outlook, you uh, maneuver down to the contacts. Once the contacts is open, you're going to scroll over to the More feature, hit the down arrow, and then where you see the call, you can call them. And if you have your contacts set up with multiple phones, say a home phone, a mobile phone, a cell phone, you can then choose which phone you want to call, click on that, the call will initiate, and again, just pick up your headset or your receiver and place your call. So one important feature to note with the click-to-call integration is that your Jabber client must be open in order for the click-to-call integration to work with your contacts. So now that we've demonstrated that, we're just going to do a quick wrap-up. To prepare for your phone, here are some of the things that you're going to want to do. We want to make sure that you note any information you want saved from your old voicemails. Because once you receive your new phone, those old voicemails will no longer be available or recoverable. The other thing you want to do is if you use speed dials currently, you want to make sure to note that information down so that it makes it easier for you to enter that information in the new system again once you receive your new phone. Lastly, if you have any issues with your new phone, making calls, or with the Jabber client, please go ahead and submit a miscellaneous problem ticket through Aqua Assist. Once your phone is deployed, it will have a quick reference sheet there. You can also come out to the SharePoint site for your initialization guide for your voicemail. You're also going to want to start making calls using that new dial plan. Remember, now any DWR location you call, regardless of where they are in the state, you're just going to dial eight and the seven digits. You're going to want to let the IT service center know immediately if you have any problems with your new phone, the Jabber client, anything of that nature, simply put in an Aqua Assist miscellaneous problem ticket and we will go ahead and get that information to our telecom team to quickly resolve the issue. Um, one thing to note, there are some numbers that you may dial with, try to dial with an eight that don't work. Go ahead and try dialing with a nine to see if that will work because when you report that information on your service, um, on your problem ticket, you're going to want to note the information, what number you tried to dial and how you tried to dial that number so that we can pinpoint what the issue is. So one of the important things to remember is that you don't have to use the Jabber client or any of these advanced features. Again, your phone is still just, just a phone, but I think that you'll find that with these advanced features you have more flexibility. You're no longer stuck at your desk with that phone or tied to the phone. Um, one of the greatest features I liked is having the ability to receive my voicemails via an email. Um, it's a really nice feature, especially for our population that works remotely. Um, so I encourage you to go out to the UC SharePoint site, prepare for your phone, read that documentation, make sure that you have your quick reference guides. And again, if you have any problems, make sure to call the service center or send us a miscellaneous problem ticket. Thank you.